Welcome back to Brother Man Gaming, and we are back with some more Banjo Kazooie. Uh, we're still at Bubble Gloof Swamp, and we have two more jigsaw pieces to collect and one more honeycomb, but we know where they are, and we gotta finish up the notes. You know the deal. You know how it is here. Um, yeah, we're gonna go for the choir boys first. Always fun. Uh, we almost got him last time, but we just ran out of life. Uh, I think we're, no, we almost have full life, but we want full life when we go into them because it's a, uh, a little bit of a disadvantage going in there without full life. Um, is there a little something? Uh, I think there's actually a honeycomb guy up here. Things, oh, the things you remember. Um, Alright, I think there's also a Jinjo up here, but not right now. We just want to go for the choir. Alright, uh, um, where was he? Oh god. Was he this way? No, there he is. Right. And also something that I was thinking, the name's called Bubble Gloop Swamp. And the bubble uh, boy, as I called him earlier, it was called Gloop, but Gloop is nowhere to be found in this map. Alright, yeah, we already helped you out your feet, but we'll do it again. And I like how you stomp on his feet and he sounds like he's in the most intense pain of his life. Oh! <laughs> Just a little something funny. Okay, so there's another Jinjo over here. And there was one at the beginning of the map, so we know where three of them are. Alright. Oh, I didn't even realize we did. Uh, yeah. And he was just doing that animation, but we already collected that one. Alright. Time for the choir, boys. Another kind of annoying minigame, but the first two iterations of it aren't nearly as annoying as Mr. Vile. All right. Oh, okay. It's not like Mr. Vile at all. We get to start right at the end. All right. That, that. Back. Back there. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. This one. I was half paying attention. Um... And then I think it was this. Come on, Nat. And then this. And then back here. Uh, no, was it this? Shit. Um, was it this one? Because I know uh, you don't have to restart the whole... If you ask him to restart the whole thing... Uh, you have to hit them all again, but if you just keep guessing, you can, like, we maybe have two more to hit, um... Fuck! Alright, um, fuck, what would be the next one? Um, could it be back up top here? Okay, oh! Magnificent! You don't fuck with me! A true you think you know best? You're a fucking choir boy compared to me! A choir boy! Alright, let's go! There's nothing more he can teach us. And uh, I think there was a. Yes, here's the other honeycomb piece. Yes, and we got all the honeycombs. Uh, Alright. Uh, got ten mumbos. Let's make sure we get all the notes in here so we don't have to come back in here. Um, now we just gotta find the Jinjos, my friends. There was one back here. Uh, we don't have the boots, but you know what? You can use the feathers. You can use the feathers. Alright, alright. Come with me, my friends. If you want to live. Live with me if you want to come. Um, there was one at the top, that uh, I think the green, oh god, uh, we can't be dying here. Um, I think we just lose the gingos in the notes though. One up here, oh, and we already used the things, oh, okay, but they're still there. That is advanced tech that those, uh, life stay. Alright, um, let's get the green boy. 
See over here? What's this? Is this a cave to another dimension? No. It is nothing. Um. starting like the between times between recording like sessions is starting to get longer and longer and i'm just like man i'm forgetting more and more about this game so this should be fun uh <laughs> fun or uh depending on your way of looking at it fun or boring okay oh boy um i think would there be one over here i know this is where the egg was but maybe there's one in the wah wah wee wah. Um, or on top of the pole. Let's check it out. Whoa! No, there's just notes. Uh, just notes. Alright. It's like a Jinjo shoots out after you crack the egg. After you crack a rat. Um. Alright, okay, so we gotta find the orange, the yellow, the yellow was back at the start, so let's just collect that guy first. He was on this pole. I wish they would whistle, like, matter and matter. Do that, like, fucking train whistle. Wait, where is he? Oh, he's over there. I can't do it, <laughs> but I, uh, yeah, you know, I think you know the whistle I'm talking about. Alright, now we need, uh, purple and blue. Oh god, come on, and I need life, and I need life. And we're not gonna take out that dark frog, <laughs> because I don't have the life to do so. Um, was there one up there? Let's check it out. No sense in, uh... Wondering. Oh god, there's one. God, do we really need to be the fucking croc? God damn it. Uh, well, now we know. Uh, um, where's progression point? Yeah, I'm getting. Okay, here's progression. Hopefully, we have gold feathers. No! Oh my god. The sense of direction is lost on me right now. Um, that's where we came from. Is that? There's a first person mode. What is this? That's the tower of power, too sweet to be sour. Hungry like a monkey! Oh yeah! on top of him? Hey! We need blue boy. Um. All Jinjos report to the stage. Oh, don't kill me. I have a feeling he's, like, in that corner over there, but he's just not rendering. Oh, I see him. Okay. Alright. Alright. Alright, we're solid. Solid as we can be. Alright, now we gotta go back to Mumbo. Apologize for wasting his time. Oh, ooh. But we know what to do, and that's uh, that's more than half the battle. That's like 90% of the battle in this. So this is going to be a little bit of a longer episode. So, I'll talk more about, uh, you know, I won't talk about Sonic Frontiers, I'll talk about Resident Evil 4. That's coming out, um, that's coming out soon. And, uh, I just pre-ordered my copy. I mean, I probably should have done that earlier. Not gonna get the collector's edition, but, uh, 
That game was so... It was nostalgic to me, not when it came out, but like probably five years after it came out. Because the year it came out, I went to a friend's house, saw it being played by his older brother, and saw the fucking animation where you see Leon's head just get chainsawed off and roll on the floor. That's like the first scene I walked into when I uh, went to his house and I was just like, fuck everything about this game and stayed away from everything Resident Evil for a solid probably three years or so. And then I played Resident Evil 4 and was just like, oh my God, this game is fucking amazing. Like the QTEs, the, um, what do you call it? The aiming, like, it inspired so much. Like, I can see why people love this game. So, I'm definitely looking forward to the remake. It should be interesting and divisive, uh, in terms of how it holds up, because there's some things, like the island section and some, uh, and the water room and some puzzles like that, that... If they did it the same exact in Ashley, like escorting around Ashley, if they did it the same one-to-one -one way, it's not really a 2023 game, but it is a remake, so I guess that's the, I'm not going to say the excuse, but that's a, um, <clears throat> a way they can, you know, do it their way they want to. And I know Resident Evil 3's remake was just, I don't want to say it was awful, but it was like three hours long and just so much stuff was cut, so I can see where they're just like, they can have the mentality of, alright, we want to do this our way, you know, we don't want anyone to deter us again. But, just like that, we got the 10th Jigsaw Pieces, the 10th Jigsaw Piece. Thank you for watching, Brudda Man Gaming. See you next time on Banjo-Kazooie.